He was addressing the African First Lady Summit on Investing in Women, Strengthening Africa, organized by his foundation, which discussed support for women in Africa, particularly in education, health, economic empowerment, and leadership. At the summit, Mr. Bush, on a working visit to Tanzania, was accompanied by his wife, Laura Bush, and the host, President Jaka Kikwete, and the First Lady, Mama Salma Kikwete. When I first learned about uh, the number of deaths on the continent of Africa, it broke my heart. When I learned about how simple the procedure is, it gave me great hope. I mean, after all, we're only talking about a drop of vinegar that will reveal precancerous lesions, and they can be safely removed. Uh, and they can, uh, the disease can be prevented with a relatively inexpensive vaccine. So the Bush Institute, along with PEPFAR, Susan G. Komen, UNAs, we launched the Pink Ribbon, Red Ribbon Initiative. Cervical cancer remains the silent killer, responsible for the death of many women in the country. Every year, over 21,000 Tanzanians have developed various cancers, and about 29.4% of these are patients with cancer of the cervix. And about 6.2% are with breast cancer. Unfortunately, about 80% of the cases are not curable because they are not detected in good time. 